Welcome to Whiskey Cast HD. I'm Mark Gillespie. This time around, I'm on location at Woodford Reserve Distillery in Versailles, Kentucky. And the other day, a Whiskey Cast listener emailed me, and he was rather upset because I had suggested that a distiller's whiskey might be good to cook with. And he thought that was an insult. Not so. Just like cooking with wine, you can cook with whiskey in many different ways. And you wouldn't use cheap ingredients when you're making a gourmet meal, so why would you cook with cheap whiskey? Here at Woodford Reserve, they take that to the extreme in many ways. It's one of the few distilleries with a chef in residence. Chef Weedham Michael has three restaurants of her own in Kentucky, as well as being Woodford Reserve's chef in residence. Where are we on We're waiting for our yeast. We're waiting for our yeast to acclimate to its environment. Uh, oh, that's yeah. <laughs> She's in charge of the menu for the distillery's brunches, as well as special dinners for Woodford Reserve guests. Weta brines or marinates all of her meat dishes in bourbon, usually early times or Woodford Reserve, right down to the Thanksgiving turkey. You need about six quarts or a gallon and a half of brine, and you'll build your brine right in a food-grade five-gallon bucket. Um, and that should hold between an 18 and 25-pound turkey, and remember, that's going to be six quarts of water, so you'll need six cups of bourbon and um, two cups of sorghum, plus six teaspoons of salt and some bay leaf, some thyme, or any other spices that you think would be really good. If you're not doing a whole turkey, here's another option. A turkey breast, brined in rye or bourbon, and rolled with dried fruits. This is a breast of turkey that I've uh, taken off the bone, and this is kind of what your brine looks like. It has a pinch of thyme and some bay leaf. You can saute onion, you can add juniper berries, you can add allspice, you can add star anise. It just depends on what kind of flavor profile you're looking for. For me, we're using, um, we're going to dry it off. We're using um, like just the thyme and, and the bay leaf because we have a whole lot of flavor going on outside of that with some fresh sage, fresh rosemary in the sauce. So you, you just want to pat. You'll typically want to brine at least one hour and no longer than about four or five hours with birds, but we brine pork. Uh, we might brine a little longer. We have a prime rib that we brine here um, in straight whiskey, and we'll brine it. We'll soak it in straight bourbon overnight, and then we'll slow smoke it over bourbon staves. So, you know, stronger, bigger cuts like venison, beef, lamb, they can handle a stronger bourbon brine. And the birds need to be a little bit more delicate. And what we've done is butterfly this breast open, and created sort of a flat pie yard of turkey. Now you can buy turkey breasts in the grocery store and just take these off the bone. And um, that's what we've done here. We also use a lot of local turkey. And the, uh, the legs typically we slow cook or braise and pull the meat and serve it with a stuffing or a pilaf. So this is a shaved Benton's uh, country ham, prosciutto style. And we're gonna lay the um, prosciutto on top of the meat and I guess the way I think about cooking anything is to layer flavor in, add flavor to what you're doing. Right now this is turkey season. November 1st is just around the corner so um, this is a really elegant way to prepare a small Thanksgiving dinner for a group of people, a turkey roulade. This is a combination of dried fruit. It's dried cranberry, dried cherry, and dried apricots. Again, this has been, uh, it also has a little sautéed onion in it and sautéed leek, a little bit of celery. Very, very simple, but we plump the fruit in hot water, uh, drain it, and then we put the Master's Collection rye right on the fruit for, I would say, about four cups of fruit, about a cup of bourbon. And then uh, we sauté the onions and the uh, celery and the leeks. We'll add the fruit into that and cook it until all the Master's Collection or any bourbon that you're using flames off and cooks out. So the fruits, all of it's inside the fruit, and at that point the fruit's very soft. And once you have it like this, we're just gonna roll it up. And we're gonna have kind of a pinwheel effect. We have the skin on the outside. And you can see where the skin has been in the brine. It's turned it a little bit brown. And then when we're basting our turkey, we, for this particular dish, but it would be good with any bourbon, we use a little bit of sorghum and a little bit of bourbon together, and we'll baste this skin throughout the cooking procedure. Then you just need to tie it like we've done here, and it's all set. And I, and I think we have some finished, so I'll show you. 
our little basting liquid of the bourbon and the sorghum, and it gets some really nice pan juices there. And um, you want to roast it, I roast it to 165 and rising, 160, 165 and rising. And what the brine will do is prevent, especially when you're working with an all-natural turkey that you're buying locally, they're not pre-brined. A lot of turkeys on, in the grocery store are filled with a saline solution to keep them from drying out. Um, but if you want an all-natural turkey, what you have to do is brine it yourself. And a lot of the food we work with here is all locally raised, so there's no brining involved on a commercial level. We brine here with the bourbon. So that'll keep our turkey from, from, and you can see this was brined, and you can see it's given off a lot of liquid. This pan was dry when we first started roasting the turkey. So we probed it. It's about 140, and it'll cook for another probably 20 minutes, and then we'll let it rest, and we'll carve it. And that's how you cook turkey with whiskey. Try it sometime. Try cooking with whiskey anytime. You can use it in a lot of different ways, in a lot of different recipes. In fact, we did this a couple of years ago with the Thanksgiving turkey. Used an entire bottle of Johnny Walker Red Label on it. The house smelled great. The turkey was even better. For more Cask Strength Conversation, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. And check back soon for another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. From Versailles, Kentucky, I'm Mark Gillespie. Thanks for watching.